the EPFX stepping into our uh, world at this time, it comes in the form of a computer, in the form of software, so that it has a sense of authority with us. We tend to believe things. We see that way. It lays it out. It takes what psychic healers are already doing uh, and puts it in a very articulate way in front of you so that you can see it. So that you can. It's a telepathic amplifier is part of it. It's artificial intelligence, although I don't like using the word artificial because it's alive and I speak to my EPFX and I know their names, all of them, and it's it's a community that we work with and it's a beautiful thing and I'm coming to see everything as alive as a result because even the great quantum physicists such as David Bohm he first was looking at a plasma which is a, a highly heated um, well 50,000 volts into a gas and he was watching the electrons under an electron microscope and they were flying around like birds at the seashore then they would break up and go into little groups and hang out then they would come back and do these things back together again and even electrons are alive. So we're not just, and that's not even a molecule or an atom, but a constituent element. It's, it doesn't even have mass, and yet they appear to have intelligence. That's the Copenhagen effect that they know when you're watching them in quantum physics. And so we're coming to the point with this EPFX of understanding that everything is alive, that everything can be worked with to a good effect and brought to a nice conclusion. Legally, we're reducing stress. That's what the system is approved for, is reducing stress. But if you think about it, everything is stress. If you've got a bacterial infection, you're stressing your immune system. You're stressing your nose and lungs where it's sitting in a cold. That sort of a thing. So we can de-stress these areas. We can calibrate specifically to the individual or anything else, actually. We work, I work on horses, cats, dogs, lizards, um, even events situations, buildings. We have folk that are doing this, uh, real estate agents that can clear a house. You know, if somebody's been shouting in a house, miserable for 30 years, it's in the DNA and the wood. And we can clear that. It's like electronic feng shui. So everything around you, the Wi-Fi, the power lines, the television, is the, the electromagnetic spectrum was empty a hundred years ago. There was only the Earth's magnetic field, which isn't as strong as that little battery in your watch and the odd bit of lightning. Now it's full from the bottom to the top. The entire spectrum of EMF has been jammed up and leased out at, uh, for all kinds of uses. And it's affecting us. It's stressing us. And the EPFX allows you to de-stress all of these things specifically. We can look at your electromagnetic spre uh, stresses from 1 hertz, 5 hertz, 10 hertz, all the way up into the gigahertz, all these different things, and de-stress them. We can go in and look at the, the fungals, viruses, and bacteria in your body live in balance. Do you know that there's more uh, flora sitting here than there is Jimmy cells? I'm an ecosystem, as you are. There's, and I, it's, it's, we're in charge of it. You can't get rid of the bacteria. You, you can't get rid of the viruses, but you can bring them into balance. You know, taking antibiotics is throwing a whole lot of fungals into your system. That's what they came from, mold. And so you throw this out, you throw that out, you cause leaky gut syndrome, you cause the viruses. Herpes is probably caused by an over fungal load, which let the viruses get out of whack. And the same thing happens with the bacteria. So it's about balancing. It's about going in, analyzing the individual, and then bringing the stresses down so that you're in balance. And it allows you to do that on a very comprehensive, holistic level. It makes well, holistic didn't mean this before, because we can deal with the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, and the physical. And the physical is the last place anything shows up. Ultimately, we need to get at the archetypes, the belief systems that allowed that knee to get sore or that bacterial infection to develop. It literally comes from what you believe at some point, and it isn't your religion. What you believe you imbibed probably before you had language between age, well, even in the womb and then age zero to maybe one years old. There's been studies that have been done on mammals that show that you cover a cat's eyes for the first 24 hours of its life and it ends up with black and white vision for the rest of its life, even though it doesn't develop full vision for another two weeks. It's the same sort of thing. We imbibe our concepts of nurturing and pain and, and fear and happiness when we're just tiny infants. And those things run against the wall eventually in this funny world we're living in now with all the stresses and information input. With the EPFX we can enter in and learn how much is there and what can be done with it. Uh, 
there's something else called cyclotron resonance, which is explained by Dr. Robert O. Becker in his book. Uh, well, he's got two books. One's The Body Electric, and the other one is uh, Cross Currents. And he is the fellow that did a lot of the original research on electromagnetic function within the body. Um, he figured out how salamanders can regrow limbs, in, and truth be told, he's growing several human limbs. He just died a couple of months ago. He was in his 80s. But <clears throat> he showed something called cyclotron resonance, which was proven at the Bethesda, Maryland Naval Station in, uh, or in research station uh, on rats. They took the constituent uh, trace mineral lithium and by putting in a digital pulse at exactly the resonant frequency of the element, you stimulate the element and it goes through a phase change. A phase change is, for instance, water going from ice to liquid to vapor uh, due to the addition of energy and by putting uh, an electromagnetic pulse at the exact uh, resonant frequency of an element it goes through a phase change and it is as though you had received a clinical dose of the element. So the rats in the test in 1982 appeared to have had a clinical dose of lithium and the uh, control group did not. And that's how even the HARP system, the High Frequency Auroral Adjustment Research Project in Gokona, Alaska, which is a 4.7 billion watt ionospheric heater, <clears throat> they can point it at an area in the sky and do a phase change, a cyclotron resonance on an element such as oxygen and expand it incredibly up there and as a result change the jet streams and adjust the weather in the world. Dr. Jose Delgado, who was teaching at Yale in the 50s, who went back to his homeland, Spain, in 1959, and for four years did research on remote crowd control with electromagnetic radio frequencies. And he published six peer-reviewed papers in international journals, which scared the international community, um, saying that he could do crowd control with radio frequencies remotely. In other words, he could sit in a room and there could be a, a riot going on and he could make them sit down, stand up, go to sleep, get aggressive, whatever he wanted with his radio frequencies. And that was 50 years ago. And so this information has been around for a long time. It's been developed. Oh, Tesla, a hundred years ago, was doing things like this with it. But the reason we haven't heard about it much here, especially in North America, is because it's been classified by the government, particularly the American government. If Dr. Bill Nelson had gone to patent the EPFX when he developed it, he would have got a phone call three weeks later uh, saying, we're going to classify that. But because he didn't patent it, it's available to us, although we are uh, under some scrutiny right now because we're the only people that can understand that you can do behavioral adjustments at a distance. And so the HARP system <clears throat> is a system the Americans built in Gokona, Alaska, but the Russians had been doing this for a long, long time. They, there's over 10 known ionospheric heaters. Uh, it's quite interesting, the archetypes, the, uh, the antenna array that they use, which multiplies the power by a thousand times. They're all in the form of large crosses, so that the 10-acre site in Gokona, Alaska, looks like a giant graveyard. <laughs> but they, they claimed in 1982 in, their heart, in the documents that they could adjust the neurotransmitters and behavioral patterns of people at a distance even whole cities, countries, even continents all at once. They can suppress the neurotransmitters and they can uh, adjust behavioral patterns as a result. I work on events now. I can take a party or a meeting or I, I work on folk when they're writing exams and things like that and I'll put the exam on and make everybody copacetic and make their energy flow nicely and they don't get nervous and all this sort of a thing. We can work with uh, pests, we can uh, talk to the ants, we can talk to the termites, we can talk to the bees, all these sort of things. You can put them on the EPFX and there is a response. I've even been working with archangels lately on the EPFX dealing with certain things. So it's, there's no limit to what we can do with this. It's like a vortex opening into the other world.